Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox and today I'm going to be answering the question everyone has had as a child. Pretty simple. What if a massive raindrop fell on Earth? Like not just a giant raindrop, like you ever thought about what it would be like to be an ant and just have like a raindrop fall on you? We're gonna do that but on a much larger scale. So we'll start with something simple. We'll start with a random asteroid and we'll see how much damage we can do. Maybe we'll just leave a little lake somewhere. All we're going to do is we're going to get the composition of this, turn it to water, and let it fall. Pretty simple. Nothing complicated here. Ooh, it looks like we're going to bring water somewhere that really needs it. Saudi Arabia, here we go. Uh, no, not really Saudi Arabia. Thought for a moment that the Earth was rotating a bit faster. We're actually going to move this so that we can see it. Come on, Saudis, I'm bringing you a nice cold drink. Could also drop it in the middle of Africa. There we go. That works. Very natural orbit here. The parallelogram orbit has been seen in nature many times. Oh! Damn, did we actually leave a lake? We did. Yes. We've done it. Oh, the lake is probably vaporized. Whoops. We may have done- Oh, nope, there's still a lake there. Good job, guys. We helped. Ignore the amount of damage we've done. We've brought water to the middle of Saudi Arabia. Totally worth it. I think there's actually ice. I think we've accidentally created, like, massive hills in ice. Look, it's frozen. We've frozen Saudi Arabia. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so that, that actually did quite a bit. That's pretty funny. Let's do it again. We'll hit Africa this time. Very dusty Sahara Desert. And we'll, we'll go the next step up. We'll do something the size of a small moon. Oh my god, this is really a size up. This is like insane size time. Alright, so we're gonna get the composition and we're gonna turn it to water. Oh, it's so big. Please don't meme that, that clip. <laughs> Alright. There we go, I think that's reasonable. We're gonna make it a little bit smaller just so that there's... So that we have more we can do. Alright, it's freezing. That's alright. Big drop of water falling on Earth. It's a big drop of water falling in Africa. I mean... If we leave an ocean in the middle of Africa, could we really be bad people? This is clearly a humanitarian effort to bring clean water- See? Look at that lake. That's better than Lake Victoria. Oh, oh damn. I think the global water level is going to increase quite a bit after this one. Oh, the amount of water. The amount of water is pretty insane. Look at it! Look at the lake we've built! There's just random blobs from water, like, sputtering out all over Africa. So much snow. You know what this means? We've blessed the rains down in Africa. <laughs> uh, I'm funny, I know. Keep laughing. Laughing with me, right? Not at me? Laughing at me would be mean. Oh my god, the water's still spreading out. There's just a tsunami racing across Africa. I think the water is going to start pouring into the ocean. Brings up a whole lot of new issues. Alright, we're going to stop the rotation of the Earth. Just so that we can watch the water spread here. Wow! Africa is now literally an ocean. Okay, uh... Rotation. Overview. Rotational period. A lot of hours. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Speed up time. And watch that ocean. Look at the tsunami go! Oh wait, is it done? Oh god, Ice Age moment. I hate it when a Ice Age starts randomly in the middle of the day. Least favorite experience. Oh, it's just, it's too cold without a sun. Alright, that that's pretty good. But I want to know, you know, we want to know how much water we can hit Earth with, you know? Like, these are small amounts thus far. What if we hit Earth with uh, a Mars 
Mars mass amount of water. I mean, that's a lot of water. How much will the oceans rise? Oh, I like how it still has the atmosphere. Wow, it's like the size of the Earth. That is the amount of water we've got going in. Water is much less dense than rock, so... And now it's freezing. It's freezing. I wish I could just lock the temperature. That's probably something I can do. Alright, now when it hits, will it instantly, like, raise the ocean in that area? No, it's just hitting it with so much force. You know, if you jump off, like, a bridge and hit water, it's, like, the equivalent of hitting concrete. Well, Earth just learned that the hard way. Literally ripped out parts of the Earth with the water. But the question is, after this is over, is, is it just going to be a big ocean? Because we've added a lot of water to Earth. Like, if we go to the composition of Earth, it's now 10% water. Although the issue is it's currently plasma and probably... Oh no, it's not... It's not leaving the surface, so that's nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, yeah, there's a lot of water. The United States doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> There's just kind of Eurafrica, which is my new name for it because it's kind of kind of connected now. Look at that. The Romans would be so proud. What temperature are we at? Alright, if we turn down the temperature a bit, the water level should rise because it'll not be literally dying. Hmm. Let's give it a little bit of time. I mean, there there is certainly more water. That that is that is a lot of water. Very nice. <laughs> Good job. Good job, team. What if we do it a little bit less violently and just just pour water on the surface of the earth with the uh the tool Stop the rotation of the Earth again. See if we can make a massive swimming pool in the middle of the United States. Uh, rotation. It was right there, too. There. That's a long time. We will never experience the rotation of this Earth. Alright. Edit. Or add. Tools. I'll find it eventually. Material. Water. Whoosh. Oh. Oh, United States. You're hiding. I mean, technically the water should spread out, and it should become visible again. So let's see if that happens. If the water does a thing and spreads out. I actually think we can go onto a map to see how deep the water is. Uh, which will be very helpful to understand how deep the water is. Because I just repeated the same thing twice, so of course it's the same thing. Math. All right, surface. Water depth. Oh my god, there we go. How, how how deep is that water? Ah, yes, just 250 kilometers deep. Very nice. That seems a little bit unrealistic to me, but that's just me. I mean, 250 kilometers is pretty deep water. I mean... I think it would be like bulging noticeably. You know? It's okay. It's decreasing over time. It's now only 300,000 kilometers thick. And we'll just set the surface temperature to like 50 again. Can I just lock the surface temperature? Okay, one second. Simulation. Heating. Heat diffusion rate. Zero percent. Damn. That did not help. <laughs> Can I just make a constant heat? Constant heat. Constant heat that isn't zero degree. No. Nope. No, I can't. Spike, you could just put a star in. But I don't want to. Will the United States ever stop being underwater? That's the question. Alright, let's go 
super duper duper fast yeah a hundred years per second 200 300 years per second I mean the depth is still decreasing but it's still over 300 kilometers deep that is that is that that well, one moment one moment to put this into perspective how thick is the atmosphere? 300... <laughs> 480 kilometers thick. So before, the the water was literally reaching outer space. <laughs> That's how much water, and it's just slowly diffusing and spreading out across the surface. I don't know if we'll ever reach a point where we can, like, see the United States again. Slightly sad. Wait, what? Oh, we're just moving so f It's been almost... Wait. It's been almost a million years. And, and the water is still not traveled. Alright, let's just speed things up more. That'll fix it. it. It is diffusing. But it's just so damn slow. Oh boy. Oh boy, guys. This is not looking good for us. <laughs> the water is too thick. Thick water, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think we just have to throw in the towel. We, we've just drowned the entire Earth. Or at least America permanently. I guess at some point the tsunami will reach everywhere else and kill everyone, but that'll take literally just billions of years at this rate of the game. So, oh, it, it's still going at the same rate, even though the time is much slower. That's weird. Well, I interesting. Ice thickness? Ah, yes. The ice is just getting thicker. I like how this map is literally just the United States is just not there. Oh, uh, that's so sad. Graph. Time passed. Very nice. Very good. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. If you like to swim, I've got just the place for you.